My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself the object of targeting, electronic harassment, uh, voice to skull, uh, covert drugging, gang stalking, gaslighting, hacking of devices and computers, and interfering with my life, and making me very sick with the disease that people are calling Morgellons. Um, and anyway, so we were served a 30-day uh, notice to quit, basically telling us that um, <coughs> that we paid this month's rent and she wants us out by next month, or she will uh, commence summary holdover proceedings in the court. Um, I'm hoping that it won't get to this, and unfortunately I know that it's going to take us longer than 30 days to uh, achieve what we need to achieve. Um, basically, uh, I'm applying for what is called uh, supportive housing. New York for people with uh, mental health issues um, and that process takes some time uh, I'm in the process of gathering all the documents that I need I need the psychosocial I need the psychology re the psychiatry report I need the um, medication management uh, from my program their reports I need the uh, medical doctor's reports and I need the, all the evidence of homelessness and lack of stability of housing etc etc. Uh, once I can gather all those documents which I'm in the process of doing they have to all be newly written within the last three months so it'll be new. And once I get all those I bring them to the man and we fill out some more applications and then we start the process of this applying for supportive housing. Supportive housing is uh, low income housing, like I said, for people with mental health issues like I have. And um, it, uh, depending on your level of support, they have you know, sometimes they have psychiatrists on staff on site, medication on staff on site. Um, sometimes they just have social worker referrals. Or, you know, it's supportive. Um, and as far as I can figure out, that's probably the best option for long-term, stable, affordable housing. Uh, as I said, this process can take a few months and I'm in the process of gathering the documents. I told her all this. Uh, unfortunately, Petra is not doing well. She's not handling the torture well. Uh, she's subjected to constant uh, voice to skull, uh, you know, telling her all kinds of nonsense constantly, 24-7, 365 and combined with the effects of whatever else is going on, it has a serious detrimental effect on her mental status and stability and her ability to understand what's real and what's not. And, and she gets very angry and very upset, very frustrated because this Morgellons thing, this stuff jumping all over you and it feels like it's going in and coming out and just drives you insane and she doesn't handle it very well. So the few conflicts that have occurred with that have pushed this woman to want us out. And I'm really just hoping that we can come to some, you know, mutual understanding that we're leaving as soon as we get this housing. And if you could bear with us for another few months, you know, we've had no problem paying the rent up until now. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to see what happens. Our source of income is no longer uh, a 
source of income and that's a separate story so now I, I, I get disability I get like 400 something dollars and uh, I have to go to disability tell them my situation has changed and see what they can do um, and you know we're gonna try to see if we can squeeze by like we've been doing just even tighter and uh, I'm looking forward to trying to get this housing that's the only solution I can come up with long term because this is it's, it's too much for me you know really I, I, I don't think I can deal with another round of, of living in the street in the city and you know there's no place to be and police and the, just it's, it's so uncomfortable you know I have panic attacks and and uh, post-traumatic stress and, and other issues that makes it really hard to just have a normal moment and so I'm doing the best I can but uh, that's the story so far thank you for watching God bless you all